dear students welcome to your channel please like share and subscribe your own channel school studies school studies is pleased to announce the launch of our educational website patel section after years of hard work and dedication we are delighted to officially announce the launch today we will see a video related to ncert solution for class 10th mathematics chapter 3 pairs of linear equations in two variables exercise 3.2 so let's solve textbook exercise the first question is form the pairs of linear equation in the following problems and find their solution graphically 10 students of class 10 took part in a mathematics quiz if the number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys find the number of boys and girls who took part in the quiz let there be a there are x number of girls and y number of boys as per the given question the algebraic expression can be represented as x plus y equals to 10 x minus y equals to 4 for now x plus y equals to 10 or x equals to 10 minus y the solutions are x if x is 5 y 5 x 4 then y 6 x x then y four. For x minus y equals to four or x equals to four plus y, the solutions are: if x is four, y zero; x five, y one; x three, then y is minus one. You just have to put the values of x in the given question, or you can put the value of y. You will get x. So this is the graphical representation of the given question. From the above graph, it can be seen that the lines cross each other at point seven three. Here, therefore, there are seven girls and three boys in the class. Next, five pencils and seven pens together cost fifty, whereas seven pencils and five pens together cost forty six. Find the cost of one pencil and that of one pen. Let one pencil cost rupees x and y, one pen cost rupees y. According to the question, the algebraic expression can be represented as five x plus seven y equals to fifty. Seven x plus five y equals to forty six. For five x plus seven y equals to fifty, or x equals to fifty minus seven y upon five. The solutions are: if x is three, y five; if x is ten, y zero. X is minus four, then y is ten. For seven x plus five y equals to forty six, or x equals to forty six minus five y upon seven. The solutions are: if x is eight, y minus two; if x is three, y five; if x is minus two, then y is twelve. Hence, the gra graphical representation is as follow. So, this is the graphical representation of the question. From the graph, it can be seen that the given lines cross each other at point three five. So the cost of pencil is three, and the cost of pen is five. Next, second question on comparing the ratios. A one a square, b one sorry b square, c one c two. Find out whether the lines representing the following pairs of linear equation intersect. At point are parallel or coincident. Okay, so let's find. First question is five x minus four y plus eight equals to zero, and seven x plus six y minus nine equals to zero. The given expressions is five x minus four y. Plus eight equals to zero. Seven x plus six y minus nine equals to zero. On comparing the equations, this equation with a one x plus b one y plus c one equals to zero, and a two x plus b two y plus c two equals to zero. We get a one equals to five, b one minus four, c one eight, a two seven, b two six, c two minus nine. So a one upon a two equals to five upon seven. B one upon B two equals to minus four upon six. That is minus two upon three. C one upon C two equals to eight upon minus nine. 
since a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 so the pairs of equation given in the question that have the unique solution and the lines crosses each other at exactly one point next 9x plus 3y plus 12 equals to 0 18x plus 6y plus 24 equals to 0 comparing the equations with a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals to 0 we get a1 equals to 9 b1 equals to 3 c1 equals to 12 a2 equals to 18 b2 equals to 6 c2 equals to 24 so a up a1 upon a2 equals to 9 upon 18 that is 1 upon 2 b1 upon b2 equals to 3 upon 6 that is also 1 upon 2 and c1 upon c2 equals to 12 upon 24 that is also 1 upon 2 since a1 upon a2 equals to b1 upon b2 plus equals to c1 upon c2 so the pairs of equations given in the questions have infinite po possible solution and the lines are co coincident Next, on comparing the ratios, that is the third question of that, 6x minus 3y plus 10 equals to 0 and 2x minus y plus 9 equals to 0. Comparing the questions with a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals to 0, we get a1 equals to 6, b1 equals to minus 3, c1 equals to 10, a2 equals to 2, b2 equals to minus 1, c2 equals to 9. So, a1 upon a2 equals to 6 upon 2 that is 3 upon 1. b1 upon b2 equals to minus 3 upon minus 1 that is 3 upon 1. And c1 upon c2 equals to 10 upon 9. Here, a1 upon a2 equals to b1 upon b2 and not equals to c1 upon c2. So, the pairs of equation given in the questions are parallel to each other and the lines never intersect each other at any point and there is no possible solution for the given pairs of equations. Next, on comparing the ratios a1 upon a2, b1 upon b2, c1 upon c2, find out whether the following pairs of linear equations are coincident or inconsistent. So, first question 3x plus 2y equals to 5, 2x minus 3y equals to 7. So, given is 3x plus 2y equals to 5 or 3x plus 2y minus 5 equals to 0. And 2x minus 3y minus 7 equals to 0. So, on comparing, we get a1 equals to 3, b1 equals to 2, c1 equals to minus 5. And c2 equals to 2, b2 equals to minus 3, c2 equals to minus 7 a1 upon a2 equals to 3 upon 2, b1 upon b2 equals to 2 upon minus 3, c1 upon c2 equals to minus 5 upon minus 7, that is 5 upon 7. Since a1 upon a2 is not equals to b1 upon b2, so the given equation intersect each other at any point, at one point and they have only one possible solution. The equations are constant. Next. 2x minus 3y equals to 8 and 4x minus 6y equals to 9. The given is 2x minus 3y equals to 8 and 4x minus 6y equals to 9. Therefore, a1 equals to 2, b1 equals to minus 3, c1 equals to minus 8. a2 equals to 4, b2 equals to minus 6, c2 equals to minus 9. a1 upon a2 equals to 2 upon 4, that is half. b1 upon b2 equals to minus 6, 3 upon minus 6, that is 1 upon 2. And C1 upon C2 equals to minus 8 upon minus 9, that is 8 upon 9. So, A1 upon A2 is equal to B1 upon B2, but not equals to C1 upon C2. So, the equations are parallel to each other and they have no possible solution. Hence, the equations are inconsistent. Next, 3 upon 2x plus 5 upon 3y equals to 7. 9x plus minus 10y equals to 14. A1 is 3 upon 2, P1 is 5 upon 3, C1 is minus 7. A2 is 9, B2 is minus 10, C2 is minus 14. A1 upon A2 is 3 upon 2 into 9, that is 1 upon 6. B1 upon B2 is 5 upon 3 into minus 10, that is 1 minus 1 upon 6. And C1 upon C2 equals to minus 7 upon minus 14, that is 1 upon 2. 
since a1 upon a2 is not equals to b1 upon b2 so the equations are intersecting each other at n one point and they have only one possible solution and the equations are constant next 5x minus 3y equals to 11 minus 10x plus 6y equals to minus 22 so a1 is 5 b1 is minus 3 c1 is minus 11 a2 is minus 10 b2 is 6 c2 is 22 a1 upon a2 equals to 5 upon minus 10 equals to 5 minus 5 upon 10 that is minus half. B up, b1 upon b2 equals to minus 3 upon 6 that is 1 upon minus 1 upon 2 that is minus half. c1 upon c2 equals to minus 11 upon 22 that is also minus half. Since one, a1 upon a2 equals to b1 upon b2 equals to c1 upon c2. These linear equations are co coincident. Um, lines and have infin infinite numbers of possible solutions hence the equations are constant next 4 upon 3x plus 2 2y equals to 8 2x plus 3y equals to 12 a1 is 4 upon 3 b1 is 2 c1 is minus 8 a2 is 2 b2 is 3 c2 is minus 12 so a1 upon a2 equals to 4 upon 3 into 2 that is 4 upon 6 that is 2 upon 3. b1 upon b2 is 2 upon 3 and c1 upon c2 is minus 8 upon minus 12 that is 2 upon 3. Since a1 upon a2 equals to b1 upon b2 equals to c1 upon c2. These linear equations are coincident lines and have infinite numbers of possible solutions. Hence equations are constant. Next, which of the following pairs of equations are coincident and incoincident if coincident obtain the solution graphically? So, x plus y equals to 5, 2x plus 2y equals to 10. Here, a1 upon a2 is half, b1 upon b2 is half, c1 upon c2 is half. So, a1 upon a2 equals to b1 upon b2 equals to c1 upon c2. The equations are coincident and they have infinite number of possible solutions so the equations are coincidence for x plus y equals to 5 and x equals to 5 minus y next x minus y equals to 8 and 3x minus 3y equals to 16 here a upon a1 upon a2 is 1 upon 3 b1 upon b2 is minus 1 upon 3 that is 1 upon 3 c1 upon c2 is 8 upon 16 that is 1 upon 2 since a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equals to c1 upon c2 so the equations are parallel to each other and have no solutions hence the pairs of linear equations is inconsistent next given 2x plus y minus 6 equals to 0 4x minus 2y minus 4 equals to 0 here a1 upon a2 equals to 2 upon 4 that is half b1 upon b2 equals to 1 upon minus 2 and c1 upon c2 equals to minus 6 upon minus 4 that is 3 upon 2 since a1 upon a2 is not equals to b1 upon b2 the given linear pairs are intersecting each other at one point and have only one solution as the pairs of linear pair equation is constant now for 2x plus y equals to minus 6 equals to 0 or 6 plus equals to sorry y equals to 6 minus 2x here if x is 0 y is 6 x is 1 y is 4 x is 2 then y is also 2 for 4x minus 2y minus 4 equals to 0 or y equals to 4x minus 4 upon 2 so if x is 1 y is 0 x is 2 then y is 2 x is 3 then y is 4 so this is the graphical representation of the question. The It can be seen that these lines are intersecting each other at only one point that is 2 by 2. Next, if x is 4, y is 3, x is 2, sorry, x is 4, then y is 1, x is 3, then y is 2, x is 2, then y is 3. For 2x plus 2y equals to 10 or x plus 10 minus 2y upon 2 if x is 4 y is 1 x is 3 then y is 2 x is 2 then y is 3 the graphical representation of the 
question is this for the given we can see that the lines are overlapping each other therefore the equations have infinite po possible solutions next given 2x minus 2y minus 2 equals to 0 4x minus 4y minus 5 equals to 0 a1 upon a2 is 2 upon 4 that is half b1 upon b2 is minus 2 upon minus 4 that is half and c1 upon c2 is 2 upon 5 here a1 e is equal to a2 sorry a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equals to c1 upon c2 thus this lines linear li equations have parallels and have no possible solutions and the pairs of linear equations are inconsistent. Next, fifth question, half the parameter of a rectangular garden whose length is 4 meter more than its width is 36 meter. Find the dimensions of the garden. So let us consider the width of the garden is x and length is y. Now, according to the question, we can express the given condition as y minus x equals to 4 and y plus x equals to 36. Now, take, now taking y minus x equals to 4 or y equals to x plus 4. So, if x is 0, then y is 4, x is 8, then y is 12, x is 12, then y is 16. For x plus y equals to 36 or y equals to 36 minus x. So if x is 0, y is 36. If x is 36, y is 0. If x is 16, then y is 20. So this is the graphical representation of the given question. From the above graph, we can see that the line intersect each other at point 16, 20. Hence, the width of the garden is 16 and the length is 20. Next, given the linear equation 2x plus 3y minus 8 equals to 0, write another li linear equation in two variables such that the geometrical representation of the pair so formed is intersecting line. So, given linear equation is 2x plus 3y minus 8 equals to 0. To find another linear equation in two variables such that the geometrical Representation of the pairs so formed is intersecting lines. It should satisfy below condition. A1 upon A2 is not equals to B1 upon B2. Another equation could be 2x minus 7 by plus 9 equals to 0. Such that A1 upon A2 is 2 upon 2 that is 1. And B1 upon B2 is 3 upon minus 7. Clearly you can see another equation satisfies the condition. Next, parallel lines, the given linear pair, linear equation. To find the linear equation in two variables such that the geometrical representation of the pair so formed is parallel lines. It should satisfy the below condition that is A1 upon A2 equals to B1 upon B2 but not equals to C1 upon C2. So another equation could be 6x plus 9x plus 9 equals to 0. So, you can see another equation satisfied the condition. Next, coincident line. So, the it should satisfy the below condition. That is A1 upon A2 equals to B1 upon B2 equals to C1 upon C2. So, another equation could be 4x plus 6y minus 16 equals to 0 such that a1 upon A2 is 2 upon 4 that is half. B1 upon B2 is 3 upon 6 that is half. C1 upon C2 equals to minus 8 upon minus 16 that is half. Clearly you can see another equation satisfy the condition. Draw the graphs of the equations x minus y plus 1 equals to 0. 3x plus 2y minus 12 equals to 0. Determine the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle formed by these lines and the x-axis and the shade of triangular region. So, the given, given the equation of the graph are x minus y plus 1 equals to 0. 3x plus 2y minus 12 equals to 0. So, the first equation x minus y plus 1 or we can say x equals to 1 plus y. If x is 0, then y is 1. If x is 1, then y is 2. If x is 2, then y is 3. 
for 3x plus 2y minus 12 or we can say x equals to 12 up minus 2y upon 3. So here if x is 4, y is 0, x is 2, then y is 3, x is 0, then y is 6. This is the graphical representation. It can be seen that these lines are intersecting each other at point 2, 3 and x axis is at minus 1 up 0 and 4, 0. Before the vertices of the triangle, therefore the vertices of the triangles are 2, 3, minus 1, 0 and 4, 0. So this was exercise 3.2 of NCRT solution for class 10th mathematics. I hope you like my video. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you. Please leave comment, question or doubts in comment section if you have any or you can drop a mail to us. You will find my email id at the end of this video. You can also join us on Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, connect us on LinkedIn or tweet us on Twitter. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you.